But uh, question, question number eight, Richard Prosser, and I understand Ron Mark will be asking it on behalf of Richard Prosser. Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, order of called Ron Good to Mark. see you back, Jerry. I'd like to see more of you back. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Question number eight. On behalf of my colleague Richard Prosser, does she stand by all her statements regarding 1080 poison? And that's to the Minister of Conservation. Mr Speaker. Honourable Maggie Barry. Indeed I do. The Department of Conservation is halfway through dropping 1080 in an aerial spray over 700,000 hectares. Uh, early monitoring has shown that the numbers of rats, up to 25 million, have now been knocked down to zero in places that 1080 has been used, and so that birds will be able to breed this season in their absence. So I and many others believe that in order to save our birds from extinction, doing nothing is is not an option, and well-managed, biodegradable 1080 is the very best tool for the job. Supplementary. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, why is the Department of Conservation advising anglers... <laughs> I am enjoying this, Mr Order. Speaker. It's nice to be so welcome in the Order. house again. The member will now start again and Thank ask you. his question. Why is the Department of Conservation advising anglers not to eat their catch if, as the department itself is saying, trout caught from 1080 dropped areas do not pose a food safety risk to humans? End of quote. Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Honourable Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The member is entirely mistaken. Our doc has never given that advice. Uh, in fact, we sought independent advice from uh, MPI toxicologist who assessed the risk as negligible from ingesting trout that had eaten mice that might have eaten 1080 pellets. Now, the science shows, and we stick to the science on this side of the House, that the health of the trout themselves is not affected by 1080. And an average adult would have to eat many times their body weight in one sitting. In trout, that is, not their body weight and other things, but in trout that had ingested mice that had eaten 1080 to experience any health ill effects whatsoever. Supplementary. Point of order. order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. I'll hear a point of order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It has been a while since I've been in the House, and it's wonderful to be so welcome back. What is back. the point but of the order? Point, the point of order, Mr Speaker, is that I just want from you advice. When I was here last, uh, questions had, question, points of order had to be heard in silence. Yes, points and of order question. will be... Order! I'm the Speaker, not Mr Mark. Points of order will be heard in silence. Now, would the Speaker, uh, Mr Mark quickly raise his point of order. That was it. That was part of Mr Speaker. The points of order, when I was here last, points of orders were heard in silence. Order. And the questions. Order. I will give the member one more chance to raise his point of order. Otherwise, I won't hesitate to ask the member to leave the chamber. Thank you. Well, My point of order and question to you, sir, was this. Is it still the rule that questions might be asked in silence? Order. I don't recall that ever being the case when the former member was here. It is helpful if there's not a lot of interjections, but frequently during questions being asked and answers being given, there is a level of interjection across the House. If it gets to an, a stage where it's difficult to hear, I will call order, but inevitably there will be interjections and chips from both sides of the House, and for the 20 years that I've been here, Mr Mark, that's always been the case. Supplementary question. Supplementary. Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Minister aware that it was indeed not Cawthorn Institute researchers that provided that scientific advice? Then instead it was Department of Conservation officials who calculated the amount of trout needed to be consumed to receive a lethal dose of 1080 that this determination was amounted to nothing more than a flippant back of an envelope calculation done for spin purposes 
And will she order that that work be redone this time by Cawthorn Institute researchers in order that we may all be satisfied that there is no risk to the consuming public? Order. Before I ask the Minister to respond, supplementary questions should be short. They should contain one supplementary question and there's certainly not an opportunity to give a very lengthy uh, question as that one was. I'll allow the Minister to answer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, the member is incorrect yet again. The Cawthorn Institute was, uh, did assess the risk. They did it in a controlled scientific laboratory, not on some back of the envelope assessment as you attest. Uh, the trout in laboratory tanks were orally dosed with a high level of 1080 to assess the uptake and the breakdown of 1080 in their flesh. The trout remained in good health and showed no ill effects. Preliminary results indicated that the force-fed laboratory trout took up low levels of 1080, which break down over a period of days. The member is mistaken. When it comes to residual amounts of 1080 in water, which is also something that we have done some science around, no trace of 1080 has ever been found in any of the samples taken from drinking water catchments. Order. Only 2% of other Order. samples had detectable Order. levels. Order. It was a long question, so I did the long answer. It, it, it was a long question, and I took issue with that. I now can't allow an extremely long answer either. Supp supplementary question. Supplementary question. Ron Thank May. you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister. Can the Minister then enlighten the House as to how she, as the Minister of Conservation, would have directly intervened to force a 1080 drop in, on a territorial authority in the event that that authority on behalf of its community decided against such a drop, such as she stated on TVNZ's Q&A. Honourable Speaker, Maggie Barry. I'm happy to answer that question. As the Minister of Conservation, it is my responsibility and that of my department to ensure that education, information and science-based evidence is widely disseminated and understood. To clarify the science, because there are a lot of mistaken people, as evidenced by the questions that you have asked, you are in Order. that camp, um, who need to have this information clarified. So there have been, uh, particularly when it comes to the Hanua example, which is one that you're talking about, uh, there have been no traces of 1080 found. And in fact, there's more than 1080 in a cup of tea. Order. Uh, and I wonder if Order. you're going to do a moratorium Order. on... The Minister will resume her seat. Mr point Speaker, of order. this is right a point order of order speak. based on the issue of relevance. My colleague is asking about the Minister forcing her will upon a local authority. And order. she's talking about order. some education programme. Order. She's not I answering the question. Order. I invite the member to go back and look at the question. The question... No, the member hasn't had a chance to go back and look at it because it hasn't been printed yet. But when he does, the question... Order! The question when it was first asked is, can the Minister enlighten the House? The Minister took the opportunity to enlighten the House, but in a very lengthy fashion. Order. I... Order. I have a point of order mm. on Mark. Mr Speaker, you're absolutely correct, but my question... Order! The member resume his seat. If the member wants to raise an, a point of order, he stands to his feet and does it. I'll give him another chance. Point of order, Ron Mark. Mr Speaker, I ask that uh, the Minister describe how she would directly intervene to force a drop. Order. I heard the question. That's not the question that was asked. It was included in the question. I certainly accept that. But it was not the question that was asked. I invite the member to go back and look afterwards. He took the opportunity. He started the question with, can the Minister enlighten the House? The Minister took that opportunity. If the member wants a specific question answered, then ask a specific question. Question number nine. Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.